Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Trust Wallet Token and ask the question, would I buy or should you buy Trust Wallet Token, not financial advice, in the bear market? This is installment 54 of 1001. As always, you can see a link to every video in the playlist in the description of this video. And if you like this content, smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. But let's go ahead and dive right on in. Would I buy Trust Wallet Token in the bear market? Well, this one is complicated, and I want to say a little bit, a few things about Trust Wallet Token and about Trust Wallet in general, um, but it's, it's complicated in one regard, and it's quite simply this. If you're a holder of Trust Wallet Token, what even is the bear market, okay? So I'm looking at this chart, and this chart tells a story. It tells a story of exchanges, of people leaving exchanges, wanting their, their crypto a little bit colder, and Trust Wallet is an in-between uh, but is an in between for something like Celsius or FTX or BlockFi or Voyager and actually having it in cold storage, not your keys, not your coin. That's what we talk about all the time. And so you can see kind of the narrative that has shaped here with the chart. We'll talk about that. But the, a couple of things I want to say about Trust Wallet in general. I have Trust Wallet. I've been using it. It's the first ever wallet that I downloaded on my phone. Um, I have had crypto on it ever since. There are certainly positives about having Trust Wallet. Um, the the access to certain dApps like Pancake Swap and some other things, lots of other things actually, uh, makes me really like Trust Wallet for what it is. Now, what do we? What can we say about Trust Wallet? as a potential growth thing. I mean, as Trust Wallet goes, so will, as the crypto market goes, so will Trust Wallet. With that being said, uh, looking at the charts here, what's the point of asking the question, would I buy a certain cryptocurrency in the bear market? Well, you know, I want to actually see a bear market because that's where you see the huge returns. That's where you see Cardano, something like Cardano go from two cents all the way up to $3 for a 150 X, you know, went from one, a peak of a dollar in 2018, all the way down to two cents, lost 98% of its value, went up to $3. And that was a phenomenal return. And that's why I think Cardano, again, this time around, is going to be another good return. You look at Trust Wallet and what what's Trust Wallet's peak in the next euphoria phase, I really have no idea. I don't have anything to base it off of because Trust Wallet, the TWT token, put in an all-time high within a few weeks of my making of this video. And so, okay, what what am I going to do with with TWT here? Am I going to expect 50x returns for Trust Wallet token? Absolutely not. Or 100x returns with a market cap of six point uh, six hundred thirty two million dollars, a eventual six point sixty three million dollar market cap would be would be you know, on 100X from here, that doesn't seem, did I say million or billion? I meant billion. That doesn't seem likely for Trust Wallet Token. Trust Wallet Token is owned by Binance. So as Binance goes, that's another thing. As Binance goes, so will Trust Wallet Token. And so we can see Binance for sure at nine figures, maybe one day at a trillion dollars as it grows as this behemoth in the crypto space. But for TWT to follow suit with that and go to nine figures, excuse me, not nine figures, 12 figures, or um, did I say, or, or sorry, 11 or yeah, 12 figures. It's just, it seems unlikely to me right now. So maybe one day, I don't know. You never know. I mean, but Trust Wallet, here's, I mean, the, the thing that I, I would say about Trust Wallet as well is that it's not, it, it's confusing for the everyday person to, to use. Uh, for me, it was very much trial and error trying to figure out what to do with Trust Wallet and how to, how to exchange, how to get access to dApps and all that. For the average everyday person, I don't think that this is something that's going to catch on. And so, yeah, I wouldn't expect the, the, the token, the Trust Wallet token to go crazy. I would expect it to do better, you know, to grow over time, which is what we're seeing with this chart. So how do we explain this chart? It's really simple. Well, first of all, TWT started out with a 90 billion supply, and then they burned 89 
billion tokens and so now they're down to one a one billion token supply which you can see caused the price to uh to do very well it was a bep2 token um that's a binance token now it's a bep20 token still a binance token um but that means it's very easy to exchange on trust wallet itself or on other dApps that uh trust wallet has access to and you can see here all right 2021 was a big year for trust wallet that shouldn't be a surprise for me that you know the, the in in spring of 2021 that was uh that was meme coin season and so i used trust wallet to get access to pancake swap and go crazy with all the meme coins of course it, it peaked it had its first peak in may of 2021 now after that the fall of 2021 was another season of high cryptocurrency prices so of course we saw new highs and with that but then some interesting things happened over 2022 that what would have normally brought its price down to a typical bear market level i mean we're seeing april of 2022 putting in new highs or or coming back to its original high that is around the time that we started started seeing a lot of trouble with a lot of cryptocurrency exchanges like Celsius, like BlockFi and like Voyager. But then fast forward to November of 2022, and we have the FTX drama, which has caused Trust Wallet token to spike in value. And why is that? It's because, all right, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. We already saw this with, with exchanges in the spring of 2022. Now we're seeing it in the fall of 2022. And when I'm making this in 2023, there's a lot of fear among crypto holders that if they hold their assets on an exchange, then um, they might lose all of it. But you go to something like Trust Wallet, you get your keys, it's safer, it's more reliable. I would say a ledger or something like that is even safer than Trust Wallet. But I have a lot of confidence in my crypto that is on, on Trust Wallet, that my keys are secure, that nobody's going to hack it or break in. And so of course, yeah, that is when Trust Wallet would put in a new all-time high in December of 2022, when everything else is pretty much in the tank, we see Trust Wallet do very well. Something in interesting that I noticed here was this trust wallet search interest over the last five years. I mean, you would say you would think that it flatlined here. Of course, during meme coin season, trust wallet got a, a ton of search interest and then more search interest in the fall of 2021. But let me narrow this down to the last year past 12 months from when I'm making this video at least, and you'll see uh, a bit of a different story. You'll see Trust Wallet having a much higher score, a search score in November of 2022 when the FTX fiasco happened. But as far as Trust Wallet as a cryptocurrency, there are a few other things to look at. And that is it, the biggest thing is probably their supply. So all of their supply is in existence right now. But does that mean that Trust Wallet is immune to potential um, to a potential dump by by Binance or you know by whales whatever uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that and there's a few concerning things I would not say uh, that these are th this is just worst case scenario let's say Binance I, I think Binance is going to be fine but let's say that Binance is another exchange that falls then Trust Wallet's going to the gutter. Trust Wallet will go to zero if Binance falls. I mean, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but 99, 99.9% .9 drops, that would be what potentially what would happen to the Trust Wallet token. And you can see the token supply. This is a little misleading. You see market cir circulation, 34.7%, reserve wallet, 30%, new years of acquisition, 8.3%, developers, 15%, community re reward for existing users, 12%. And I'm like, all right, what do, what do I make of that? Well, let's take a look here and um, you'll see an entirely different story here. You're, you're seeing here in this chart, one wallet holds 78% of the TWT supply and that is a Binance wallet, BSC token hub. And so it's like, as, as I'm saying, as Binance goes, so does Trust Wallet go. Let me read this. This wallet is the BSC Token Hub wallet, and it means that TWT goes as Binance says it goes. Binance was able to prick the FTX bubble because of a position that it held in the FTX token. Even though Binance actually owns Trust Wallet and doesn't figure to have anything to gain from dumping TWT, I think this level of token centralization from an application that is designed for the opposite is a problem. 
that is that's that's a concern where you know the big thing that that we always that we love about cryptocurrencies and we love cryptocurrencies that are decentralized at least i do that's why i love bitcoin and i know that some of you're going to rail me for this that's why i love litecoin okay because the two are truly decentralized and i like daos because de daos are decentralized autonomous organizations now of course daos can have major players that make it feel less decentralized but TWT, zero decentralization. I mean, it is not decentralized at all. As Binance says, Trust Wallet will go, Trust Wallet will go. If Binance needs to liquidate their assets at any point, goodbye, Trust Wallet. Now, how much of a concern is that kind of self sabotage? It's only if we see Binance just go to the gutter which again, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. And, uh, you know, and more so I'm a little bit concerned that Binance is gaining too much power. But anyway, just long answer to condense to a shorter answer. My answer for would I buy Trust Wallet in the bear market is a no. Would I buy Trust Wallet in general and accumulate? Sure. Why not? I don't think that I'm going to end up buying this cryptocurrency, but if I do, I don't think I'll do terribly. So anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of your week. I will most certainly be seeing you in another video. Peace.